Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is Make a Change. Beloved family, our text says, Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself, goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. James 1, 22-24 in thinking about the message today, these lyrics by Michael Jackson entered my mind. I'm going to make a change for once in my life. It's going to feel real good. Going to make a difference. Going to make it right. I see the kids in the streets with not enough to eat. Who am I to be blind, pretending not to see their needs? I've been a victim of a selfish kind of love. It's time that I realize. That there are some with no home, not a nickel to loan. Could it be really me pretending that they're not alone? I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. And no message could have been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make a change. Our Lord Jesus Christ also performed a song back in biblical times and it was entitled, Make a Change. Repent, for the kingdom of God is here. Christ continually asked, look at yourself, and before you judge someone else, take a look at your own life. He was always telling the religious leaders, you put these burdens on the people, yet you yourselves won't carry them. In Romans 2, 21, Paul says, you then who teach others, do you not teach yourself? You who preach against stealing, do you steal? You who say that people should not commit adultery, do you commit adultery? You who abhor idols, do you rob temples? We are quick to point the finger at others and say homosexuality is a sin, and according to the law of God, it is. But what about non-marital sex or adultery? Isn't that not a sin also, according to the law of God? Certainly it is. But one is more accepted culturally, so one sin gets a pass and the other does not. All our sin in the eyes of God, our righteous judge. Mine may get a pass and yours don't, or yours may get a pass and mine's don't. Those who steal from the company office get a pass opposed to those who steal clothing from the mall. When we begin to look in the mirror at ourselves, we take the lens off others and God can expose us to ourselves. So King Jesus says, repent, which translated means make a change, change your mindset. But we cannot change ourselves on our own. I know the song from Michael Jackson sounds great to aspire to, but in order to make a change in our life, we have to change our behavior by first changing our character. To do this, we must change our mindset. In other words, if we don't change what we believe, we will never change who we are. And the only way we can change what we believe is to accept Christ as our king. Proverbs 23, 7 says, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. If we don't see anything wrong with others struggling with homelessness or having food to eat, then we won't do anything to change the situation or make a change. We don't think that we can easily end up in this situation. Homelessness and hungry. Oh, but I got news for you. Many of us are a job away from homelessness and being on the street. Listen, it's only by the grace of God that many of us are not homeless. Do you realize that one terminal sickness coupled with insurance denials and work layoff for whatever reason can cause financial ruin and bankruptcy and end up in homelessness? That a strong or powerful storm earthquake or other natural disaster can destroy our homes, workplace, hospital, bank, and insurance company in one day. 
None of us are above the hand of God moving in our lives. In fact, we enjoy his hand in our life and his heart every time we wake up with his breath in our lives. In order for us to truly change, we need Christ. We need the word of God to renew our mindset. Romans 12, 2 records, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. The pattern of this world is religion, to overlook others in need while making sure we stay looking good. Many of us pass by homelessness or wounded people every day. Just as the rabbi, pastor, and priest turn the other way, and only the good Samaritan stop to cross the street to help someone else in need. King Jesus Christ had a secret to share, and that is you have to repent. But to renew your mind, you need the Holy Spirit and the knowledge of the truth to free us from the lies that imprison us. Look in the mirror to make a change in your life. Not just the physical one, but the mirror of Christ. The image of the invisible God. The word of God will be a reflection to us in our life. For your spirit and soul, not just your face. Look in the mirror. Make a change. Repent. Receive King Jesus Christ as your Lord and King. And enter into the kingdom of God. Seek first the kingdom and right standing with God. And then you will be able to look in the mirror and make that change. Much love.